I'm sorry, but what the fuck is going on? Can someone tell me what the Eagles are doing? Last I checked, they won 10 games last year. We're making real good progress to make some noise. Stammered at the end. Had a backup quarterback to finish out the season. Okay, no big time to panic. Yet, Macklin's gone. McCoy's gone. Cole's gone. <laughs> they're, they're, they're basically blowing the team up and rebuilding it. And the guys they're going after in free agency, some, are not even wanting the time of day. Someone like McCourty said, yeah, Chip, yeah, that's a nice offer and all, but you know what? I'm going to stay with the champs. I'm going to stay in New England. Could you imagine Chip Kelly's face when he heard that? What do you mean he's turning down less money to stay with the champs? We're going to pay him more money to play for my offensive guru genius ass. He's going to turn me down. Yeah, Chip, because I honestly think you f you just you cannot smell the shit that you're shoveling. And I don't know what is going on, but as of right now, huh, our receiving core is led by Riley Cooper and a green as grass sophomore in Jordan Matthews. And we also have Huff. That's it. <laughs> That's it. Macklin? Oh, uh, what, what type of message does that send? Macklin not only doesn't want to stay on the offensive gurus team that had him have a career year last year. He doesn't want to not only stay on this team, but he'd rather play for the previous guy in Andy Reid and give him another chance. He got his best numbers here in Philly. He's like, you know what? Ah, I'm bouncing. Oh, I do, not have, I do not have confidence right now. I do not have confidence right now. I had confidence coming out of last season because, like I said, it was a 10-win team, finished the year with a, with a backup quarterback. I can't be angry at that. Is there a lot of games they let slip away last year that I'm disappointed with? Absolutely. They could have, should have, would have been in the playoffs, but they didn't. I, 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 I love these Chip Kelly loyalists. And I was a Chip Kelly loyalist up until last week, man. I really was. But these people are going to be like, oh, he's, you don't understand. It's the scheme. It's the coaching scheme that brings success. Shut the fuck up with that scheme shit. I don't care if Aaron Rodgers is the quarterback on this team. If he's thrown primarily to Jordan Matthews and Riley, I suck. I can't catch a ball for my life, Cooper. Mr. American History X Cooper. If Aaron Rodgers is thrown to those guys, he ain't going anywhere in this league. I don't care what scheme you have, I don't care what quarterback you have. Prove me wrong, I'm begging to be proved wrong here. Oh, I will eat my fucking hat. Well, you don't understand. Did Sean Jackson had a career year under Chip Kelly's system? Riley Cooper had a career year under, under Chip Kelly's system? Jeremy Macklin had a career year under Chip Kelly's system. That's three different receivers that had career years under Chip Kelly's system. You should have guys that have career years under Chip Kelly's system because you get the ball snapped on offense way more than what you had with Andy Reid. No, duh! You're going to see guys having career years. There's more offensive plays per game. So the chance to get more yardage out of your receivers is there. I'm just, I'm frustrated as hell. We got rid of Shady McCoy. What am I, what am I supposed to do with this? What am I supposed to do with this? I got this last year. What am I supposed to do with this? Huh? I bought the jersey of my favorite player on the team. What the fuck am I supposed to do with that? Who did we get to replace him? Frank Gore. Solid running back. Impressive running back. Is he much more than Shady? Not really. Not really. Oh, is he much more? Actually, he is. He's much more in age than Shady McCoy. Oh, I'm glad to get rid of my favorite player in the team for a guy that is not much more. He is in no way as versatile as Shady is. Does he hit the hole a lot harder? Yeah, he does. Does he have a lot more runs for a positive game? Yeah, he does. Does he have the game-breaking ability of taking charge of an entire game and winning it on his back as Shady does? As much as Shady does? No. I 
I'm so passionate about this because I've given so much time and life uh, of my life to this. Just some, something to watch on Sunday, just something to slip out of reality. And then I see this happen. I see a 10-win team completely dismantle and reconfigure itself. And I go, when has this ever worked? When has this ever worked in this league? Chip? Foles, you're as good as gone. Mariota's probably coming here. Or Kaepernick. And frankly, I'm of the stance now, I'd rather see the Eagles go after Kaepernick. Now, frankly, I don't personally want Kaepernick, but if Chip Kelly wants someone that runs a Chip Kelly-style offense, I'd rather them go after Kaepernick than spend six, seven, eight picks in the draft that you have to give up to whoever to, to get into a spot to draft Mariota. Oh, my God. And even Maxwell, even bringing him in off of Seattle. You know, everyone here sees that Seattle name and everything, but I'm like, oh, well, you better look good if you're playing with Cam Chancellor and Earl Thomas and Richard Sherman. If you're playing in the secondary, those three guys, you better the fuck look good. I don't know how you can't. <clears throat> so, I, I'm, I'm looking at how much they overpaid for Maxwell. And Grant, that's what you have to do with free agents sometimes. You have to overpay but I'm not even certain with that. <laughs> I'm not certain with anything they've done. They brought in Kiko Alonso in the trade for Shady. We don't know what he's going to be like. We don't know what the quarterback situation is. Huh, we know what the wide receiver situation is looking like right now. <laughs> Complete shit. It's the scheme, Archfiend. Don't worry. Chip Kelly's going to scheme his way to success. We ain't even to the draft, and I'm pissed. More pissed than a motherfucker. <sighs> the fuck is going on? I'm blowing my mind. It hasn't even been snap one of week one yet. Jesus Christ. Prove me wrong, Chip. Wow me in free agency in the drafts like <laughs> I can't even imagine. Well, right now, w without the wide receiver talent, with a guy like Macklin bouncing to Kansas City to play for Big Red, uh, how am I supposed to feel? How am I supposed to feel knowing that a guy can't even have confidence coming off a career year? He doesn't even want to stay here. Have a good day, everyone.